go. My beliefs haven't changed a hell of a lot. I mean, they've got more realistic as to why things are the way they are. I mean, there's if you, if you look at the, the the drug war as a whole, like let's say if it was a business, right? <laughs> Which it is kind of, but let's say yeah. let's, let's say it was. Let's say I was starting a business like 80 years ago, right? And I'm starting this business, and then I look back at my profit and loss statement and everything, and I go, okay, my whole idea was I want to eradicate drugs. I don't want people using them because they're evil and we'll, we'll let's talk about that. Right. But, <laughs> but I want to eradicate drugs because they're evil. And over that time I've spent uh, trillions with a capital T trillions of dollars on this goal of eradicating drugs. And 80 years later, drugs are more easy to get and more prevalent and people are using them more than ever. If that was a business, I'd look back and go, that's a fucking disaster. <laughs> that's no good at all. But then when you, if you dig into things, then you can see something like that can't keep going unless someone is profiting from it. Yeah. And that's when you start to look at uh, privatized prisons, uh, corrupt police, mm. corrupt government. So there's a lot of people that are winning uh, this war on drugs, but it certainly isn't drug addicts or people that are using drugs because, you know, that's there might be a saying that might be from chasing the scream or, or maybe Gabor Mate says it. it's not a war on drugs. It's a war on drug addicts. Mm. Right. Cause you can't have a war on an inanimate object. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like, Oh, I'm declaring a war on rocks or I'm declaring yeah. a war on, it's just, it's on pens, you know, yeah. it's just silly. Right. So there's always, there's always an agenda behind it. And, you know, it's become a war on drug addicts for the people who are the most, uh, in pain people in our society the people who need the most compassion and love have been the most attacked yeah and so when you come at someone with an addiction and this is from my experience of addiction working with addicts every day for the last however many years Mm. is that you're only going to make the problem worse when you start to isolate some of them and make them feel like more of a fuck up than they already feel. The reason why we turn to drugs is because we feel like there's something defective and wrong with us. So we're trying to escape. So it's like, well, let's now criminalize you. Let's stigmatize you. Let's put you in a jail cell. Let's make it hard for you to get work by having a criminal record and all of these things. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.